What's up, YouTube? How are we all doing? Leaving the DMV, I just tried to take some endorsement tests for my CDL, but they stopped doing that at four. Uh, so I gotta come back tomorrow, depending on what time I get off of work. And yeah, gonna get all my endorsements. I passed my CDL permit test, so I have my CDL permit. Now I'm gonna get all my endorsements and then pass the driving test. Um, just doing that, so I have a license that need be, I can make a lot of money with if I have to and even start a career. So, you know, right now I do essentially have a career in a way, you know, the job I have, I can't do forever uh, cause I move furniture, but I make good money. I work a lot and I get a lot of side jobs out of it. So I make pretty, pretty good money. I can't complain. Um, you know, up until, up until a month ago, I was easily making 120,000 just at my job not counting side jobs which I do at least two a month and I'll make an extra thousand at least so definitely looking at a nice like 130 plus a year uh, but then uh, I was managing full time well not full time but I was managing they cut that back so now there's another manager who um, I trained he's now doing the position so you know I normally get a day off now here and there so it is like a pay cut so I'm not working as much. Uh, so it's a little less consistent than what it was, which I need consistency, especially being, I'm trying to save money, have a career, have health insurance, medical, all that good stuff. And consistency really is key. So I have to work different, work smarter, and make sure I'm making the money that I would have been losing otherwise because of the change they made. So I'm not getting screwed over. I'm making sure I don't get screwed over because you're in charge of whether or not you get screwed over and I'm in charge of whether or not I do. So that's why I'm getting the permit. So if anything happens, I could easily get a well-paying job and just move on, you know, no big deal. So pretty much today I want to start talk about starting from zero. Um, let's say you have no money in the bank, no money saved at all, you're, you're at zero. Happened to me before, I actually purposely put myself to zero when I was 20 years old. Because I, I wasn't financially doing great. And, um, and yeah, I had like a thousand bucks really left saved. I was like, fuck this, I'm just spending it all until I have nothing left. And I'll just start over at zero. So that's what I did. And then at zero bucks, I, I didn't even have a job at that point. So I got myself a job. I was working at a restaurant. I was making drinks with the barista, not a bartender. Uh, so I was making like coffee and uh, smoothies and shakes. And the job paid terribly. It paid like 12 bucks an hour. Um, but while I was there, the, uh, the waiters there were making really good money. They are making like 300 bucks a shift. So I made it a goal to become a waiter there. And uh, also while I was there every morning, because I would have to go in pretty early to get the coffee going. I was one of the first people in the restaurant. I would uh, have my headphones in and I would listen to, um, essentially I was looking for something I could invest my money in that was gonna make me a lot of money. And this was in 2017. So I rediscovered like Bitcoin and I was like, oh, I remember this. I heard about this a few times. Started watching a bunch of videos on it and it made a lot of sense to me that it, it would be a good investment. So I started investing in it when it was about $2,000. And uh, this was in like April. And I wasn't making a lot of money. I was making like 200 bucks a paycheck, maybe 250. So I would spend like, I would put like 40 bucks a week into it as much as I could. And yeah, pretty much once I started putting my money into that, remember I started with nothing, so I was putting all my money into Coinbase, buying buying Bitcoin and Litecoin with it. And uh, things started going up. You know, I started putting more money into it. It would crash, but I, but I did so much research. I was like, oh, that just means it's cheaper. I can buy more. Um, so yeah, I kept putting money into it. I ended up getting about like by the end of the summer I had like maybe four thousand bucks saved into that and then uh, by the time December rolled around 
I think I like just hit 8,000 saved in, in cryptos, which I was hyped about. I even might have sold some of my jewelry to get cash to buy more cryptocurrencies. And that, in December, I went on vacation with my uncle and my sister. And uh, I decided I wasn't going to look at my phone all week. Well, specifically cryptos, because I would be addicted to it every day. I was looking at it like 10 times a day. So I was like, I'm on vacation. I'm not going to stress myself out and keep looking at it. I'm just going to put it away. So I, I didn't... I think I deleted the app for the week and my friend calls me like on the last day of my trip and he's like yo bro like you gotta look at Bitcoin like it went it's crazy right now da -da -da -da. so I think Bitcoin went up to uh, $20,000 at that time and I definitely had half a Bitcoin and I had a bunch of Litecoin and some Ethereum even so my account, which had $8,000 earlier in the week, grew to 35000 in just a week's time. Um, that's how fast it went up. And I was, I looked at it, I saw it, I was like, oh my god. I ran out of the hotel I was in and I just started running. I was so excited. I ran like three miles and I don't even like running. I was jumping over things. I was ecstatic. So that's how... That's how I started from zero, and that really started my financial journey. Um, the 35000 I was feeling rich, because my goal was always to buy a Tesla, and a Tesla was $35,000. Uh, I didn't go and buy a Tesla, though, thankfully. But I thought it was cool that my account literally had the exact amount of money I needed to buy the car I wanted. So, uh, kind of like a law of attraction thing, that it, it's funny it hit that number. Um... So yeah, then, you know, I didn't sell when it was at the peak. I just took a little bit out, but I didn't understand like what a, really a bear and a bull market was. So we hit a, a bear market pretty soon after the peak. And I essentially watched the $35,000 slowly dwindle all the way back to $8,000. Um, took like a good year, but it happened. And at the same token, I was also invest in during the bear market so every time i put like a thousand bucks in a week later it'd be worth 900 by the end of the bear market it would have been worth like 300 um so yeah i was able to you know see myself make a lot of money but i didn't cash out so i didn't actually make that money but it was really a good experience to lose that money you know it definitely taught me a lot but not enough um but yeah, so then in my work life, um, I asked the restaurant I was working at if they could make me a waiter, and they didn't want to do that, but they were hiring other waiters. They didn't want to make me a waiter there. So I then got a job at another restaurant working as a waiter, and I still worked at the other restaurant, so I had two jobs. I was doing the morning shift at one and working the night shift at the other. This was probably the hardest I was ever working. Um... I was easily making like 300 bucks a day because I would make about 100 bucks at the first restaurant and then maybe 150 or so at the second, sometimes more. So 250, 300 bucks I would make working all day. Um, but I didn't mind it, I liked it. I also had a bicycle, I was riding my bike to and from both jobs and then I'd ride my bike home. So it was a lot of, uh, it was very physically demanding but it gave me a great work tactic. I'm not gonna say that again um so yeah that's that was my journey from zero i got a job started investing and saving watched my investments grow and explode got me real excited got a second job because i wanted to buy even more cryptocurrencies i'm um, not saying that's what you have to invest in but that's what i did and yeah after i got that job i ended up getting another waiter job where i worked uh, six days a week there and that job was pretty good I think I even worked seven days a week but I started this whole really like working a lot thing so I always had money coming in because I always wanted to save and have money just in case I never had any like the time I had zero dollars which was in a cool experience um and then finally I I quit that restaurant because of a disagreement with the owner 
and I got another job working at a moving company where my first day I worked like six hours and I made 160 bucks. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then, you know, I told you all about the moving company. I worked my way up to manager there to the point where now I'm making, every time I work about 400 bucks. And like today, for example, I made uh, $600 and you know, I finished work at 3.30. I went in at seven. So I made really good money today. What are you doing? What's up, my buddy? Now you can go around, you fucking asshole. Bad drivers. Um, yeah, I forgot I was shooting a YouTube video right there. But yeah, so that was my journey. That's what that's what I did. Um, you know, I would recommend anyone trying to save money and make money to get work as much as you can, save as much money as you can, and learn as much as you can. Because I did all three, and you know, it really paid off. Though, especially the learning part, because cryptos have been really good to me. And I'm still heavily invested in it. And it's one of my favorite things to invest in. So that's my story from zero to 35,000 at that point. Now I have more money saved. But, you know, I started from zero, I worked my way up. And now we're, we're doing good, you know? Everything is better and I keep on learning more and pushing more. So that's it, thanks for watching. I'm about to clean my car, peace.